So there are a few secret paths in Elden Ring. Some of these are just more efficient to make life easier. Some are needed to progress certain quests and some are hidden which ain't needed but help a ton in regards to how we play this game. But today guys I bring you all hidden path secrets, portals and entrance points to hidden areas I think you need to know about. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay so secret paths, portals and areas let's get into it guys. So we know the real particular order here. First up guys let's start with a hidden portal to Bestial Sanctum. So this portal is located behind the third church of Mocha and it is great, it's a great spot to go to to use this portal for early players to avoid danger heading to that Bestial Sanctum. This is a great area for lots of early players to earn tons of runes and it's a place, I mean it's a portal that a lot of early players like myself did indeed use to avoid a lot of danger going through this massive area here. So yeah guys, a nice and sweet one to start the video off. Okay, so next up people we have the Pure Blood Knight's Medal. Now this is actually an item you can use to teleport yourself to one of the best early farms in this entire game. In fact, the best farms in this entire game are located in said area. But if you're a relatively new player guys, you can make use of this medal, this quest reward, and come to the southeast of the Sea of the River. This place here guys, and all these grace points, behold incredible rune farming spots. Some even consider these exploits, well a couple of them really are. Now you've probably seen some of the rune farming spots on this game, a lot of them are taking place in this area. And if you wanna come here early on guys, you can. What you need to do is people firstly beat Godric the Grafted. He's the second main boss I believe. After Margit the Fell Ormond, you then have to fight Godric. Once you've done this guys, come back to the very first point in the first step. Upon loading in here, to your left there will be a glowing rock on the floor. Go and interact with this rock. This will start off a quest with a white faced Vari, I believe his name is pronounced. I ain't certain, I ain't French. But this quest will then take you to the Rose Church located right here guys. Now the quest is quite short to be honest. It involves you invading other players, three other players, doesn't matter if you win, lose or draw. After you've done that he will give you a cloth. You have to take the cloth to one of two said areas to get it soaked in blood. Relatively straightforward guys. And then once you come back he will give you this medal. As soon as you use the medal guys it will teleport you to this area right here within the Siofra River. So make use of it if you can and that quest is still available for you. If you haven't guys the only other entrance I know of to this area is located within another secret area the hidden path to Halig Tree. So firstly guys how would you get to the hidden path of Halig Tree? Well initially you will need to get the Dectus Medallion. Once you get the Dectus Medallion I mean search a guide on YouTube guys there are hundreds of them. Relatively easy to get but once you get it you can activate this lift and come up to this area here. Now then you have to progress around here guys, through this capital, take out a couple of main bosses in the Phantom Godfrey and the Omen King. Then guys you'll gain access to the Forbidden Lands, allowing you to come up to this lift, the Grand Lift of Road. Upon activating this guys you can come all the way up here, which you will need to do, to Castle Soul. At the top of Castle Soul guys there is a boss called Commander Nile. When you kill him, he will give you one half of the Hallig Tree Medallion. The other half guys is gone from an NPC located right around here, right next to this grace. So come here guys, go up this hill, there will be an NPC hiding in a basket. Hit the basket, I'd say with your fist, do not hit it with a heavy weapon, because if you kill this NPC, you are done for. But yes, once you clear his dialogue guys, exhaust his dialogue and he'll give you the other half 
of the Halid Tree Medallion. Then guys you need to come back up to the lift of the road, the ground lift of road. Once here guys press right or left on your d-pad and it will give you access to the hidden path to the Halid Tree. Once you are here guys you need to come to around this spot right here. Well, I think it's a smart to head north first to this uh, dredge right here then head west through the portal. An NPC will spawn in, you will be invaded here where you have to kill this invader first then you'll gain access to the portal. And this portal guys will take you directly to where you need to be to farm those beautiful runes within southeast of Siofru River. So guys, another, uh, well, secret entrance is to the capital, and that's without needing the Dectus Medallion. Now, to actually get access to up here, guys, if you don't have the Dectus Medallion, which you can get pretty easy anyway, but I thought I'd just add it to this list either way, is to come up here. So say you're at uh, Sorcerer's Isle, come up here to the ravine, follow this path all the way up here, guys, and you'll come to this small village. Now, if you climb all the way up to the top guys you'll end up i believe about there now this is the magnum worm boss if you beat the boss guys you actually gain access to this path right here and you can come up this way or is it that way either way you gain access to this whole area guys without having a deck test medallion and you're seeing that on screen now Next up guys we have a hidden path to an area within Volcano Manor. It's basically the depths of Volcano Manor. And to get here guys you need to come to the Rea Lucaria Academy. Once you are here people, where if you come here and the door is sealed, there's a massive seal on the door. You need to come to this spot on the map right here. There will be a sleeping dragon, you need to come behind it and get the key. Once you get the key, you can go to either entrance within the academy and the seal will be removed. Then you can enter this place. Now once you progress through this place, you'll come to this spot on the map right here. It's like a giant lift contraption. I don't know what this is. Why this would be here, I have no idea. But either way, if you ride it to the bottom, you'll see one of these mechanical mothers. That's my nickname for them. Who try and pick you up and put you in their, well, microwave bellies, shall we call it. Yeah, microwave bellies, sounds good. And actually guys, that's what you want them to do. Because upon you dying with inside their stomachs, their bellies, their microwaves, whatever it is, I don't know, you will actually spawn back in your reappear underneath Volcano Manor. And more importantly, as part of a quest in the game, the Temple of Eagle. So if that's an area you're specifically looking for, this is actually how you get to it. Okay, so next up guys is a quest item you get from Rani. So upon doing Rani's quest, she eventually gives you an item called the Carrion Inverted Statue. Now although this isn't a very important area and I probably don't even need to include it in this video, I just thought I would anyway. Now upon getting this item from Rani, come to the study hall. 
right here on the map. Upon entering the study hall guys, you can place this item on this table. Upon doing this, it inverts the study hall. And from here guys, you can actually find a pretty unique area. And there's a couple of items in here guys you definitely don't want to miss. Namely, a talisman which gives you 5 free extra intelligence points and also an item which can have an effect on the ending. So keep that in mind guys. But yes, the Kerrion study hall secret area, I thought I'd include it for the heck of it because it's a cool place. And talking about the Rani quest, there is a part of it guys where you need to come to the deep root depths, the Ainsar River. More specifically, this area right here, the Ensel River main. For me, I'm not sure what happened, but something didn't trigger in my quest because other guys I saw on YouTube, they showcased an actual portal, but for me, that didn't happen. So I had to find an alternative route down to the Ensel River and the Ensel River main. Now you can get down to the Ensel River by going to the Ensel River well right here, guys, but that spawns you down at the bottom side of it, where you're free to explore all this area, but you actually can't get up to the Ansar River main. And if you want to progress around this quest, you have to be here. Now, the only other way I found was via another secret path. And this secret path, guys, requires you to take out a few bosses. Firstly, Radan, who's located in this big area here, guys. That quest is triggered and started via you going to the Impassable Great Bridge, then coming to the Red Main Castle and starting it there. Once you take out Radan, you get a new area open up which you access via Fort Height West called Nakron. Upon coming to Nakron guys, you have to fight your way past the Mimic Tier boss and go to the Twin Gargoyles. Now the Twin Gargoyles ain't an easy fight, but if you're skilled enough you will take them out. There definitely don't need to be two of them though, but hey, from software just thought we needed a challenge. I don't even know what was going through their minds with that, but hey. But once you take out guys the twin gargoyles, when you come to the back of the room, there will be a grace there for you to activate. But just right at that grace, there will be a coffin. Now if you enter that coffin guys, it takes you up to the deep root depths. Mainly the Great Waterfall Crest Grace Point. From here guys, if you follow the path I take on screen now, and follow all the way to the... The very northwest of this area, there is another tomb for you to get inside. Upon getting inside of this tomb, guys, you will actually spawn in at the Ensel River Main, where you need to be for Rani's quest. There's also a few other cool things in this area too, guys. So you may just want to explore, even if he ain't doing Rani's quest yet. But yeah, once you've had a playthrough at Ansel River Main, if you come down here, guys, to the Lake of Rot Shoreside, and you make your way across the rot and down to this grace, just beyond this point, guys, that is another tomb. Getting in this tomb, guys, will take you down to a boss called Estelle, Natural Born of the Void, which is a great boss fight, by the way. Okay, so next up guys, we're going back to the hidden path to the Hallig Tree. If you come very north at this place, you'll come to this area right here, the Ordina Liturgical Town. Within this area guys, is actually a portal which takes you to the hidden Hallig Tree area, which I've only recently just found out about. So there's no doubt people watching this that have no idea about this. So within this little town guys, if you come through, you'll eventually come to this platform where there's a glowing blue symbol on the floor which you can stand on. Now if you stand and interact with this thing, you'll be teleported to another dimension. Within this dimension guys, you need to light four candles, which you'll see me doing on screen now to speed it up.
Once you've lit all four candle guys, the seal at the top of these stairs will break and you'll be able to access this portal which will take you to the secret area right here guys, which beholds many more secrets. And there we have it guys, there are a couple of more I could cover, there's a couple of uh, chests that teleport you to different bosses, but nothing of spectacular importance in my opinion. I mean if you're an early player you can come down to the Tower of Return, if you climb to the top of this there will be a chest which will teleport you to the capital and if you run past this giant on your right hand side there will be a chest which beholds a great talisman for you. If you pull up your map and it seems as though all the graces are crossed out it's because you need to activate the grace that's here and you should be good. But yeah guys if you know of any more hidden locations, spots, secret portals, whatever be sure to let me know and everyone else know down below within that comment section. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.